Hey, my name is Matt Storr and I repair saxophones for a living. And today I'd like to show you something kind of interesting. I don't know how accepted this is, but this is something I've learned to do over the past few years. Um, this is a brand new Yamaha and you know, their pad work is not bad, but you get stuff like this a lot on new horns, um, Selmers and Yamahas, I notice it a lot on. And it might be present on other makes too. I just don't see too many new horns, uh, so I don't really know. But you can see, you know, it's kind of leaky all around and it's got those like little dots of leaks, like little slivers of leaks. And it's hitting in the back first. So you'd think like, oh, that means like the pad's too thick. But actually, usually what's going on with these is that there's barely any adhesive. And you can actually take these pads out, add a little bit of shellac, and then refloat it and it seals right. And this type of leak, like these little like dots like that, um, to me, I've learned that that usually means not enough adhesive. It's just, I'm not sure exactly what the mechanism is, but usually like that, when it's kind of like all around, if you take it out, add a little bit more and put it back in, typically that'll go away. So that's what we're gonna do um, and see if that works on this one as a good example. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera off and remount it and then take it off and show you what I see. Okay, so. Let's go ahead and release this pad from its key cup. Sorry if my arm's in the way. Just using a butane torch on this, heating it up a little bit so it starts to move. This is what it looks like. So you can see there's you know, not a ton of adhesive there, and especially like around the edges in the front where we saw all those leaks, right? Like this is ex like this is where the front of the key key was, and this is exactly where we saw all those leaks. Is where there's just not much adhesive. So what I am going to do is, yep, I'm trying to do this like all in one take, so you guys can see there's like not like any tricks here. Um, just add a little bit of shellac in the places where it was missing most. Again, sorry if the camera angles are bad. Okay, so now what we've got is something that looks like this, right? Not super flat, but I've added adhesive where I wanted it. Um, and I'm gonna go ahead and heat this back up. Let's see, make sure I've got a pad slick that fits. Yep. Heat this back up a little bit. Heat my pad slick a little bit. Go ahead and put this back in using my pin vise needle to locate it. I usually do it like directly across from the key spine. A bit of heat, a little bit more heat. Okay. And let's see. Okay, it's not absolutely perfect, but Given that I just did it in like 10 seconds on camera, it's hard to expect absolute perfection, but see the improvement there? Now, I have a feeling that if I were to spend just a little bit more time seating this, it'll end up much better. I'm gonna go ahead and do that off camera since it's hard to do on camera. It'll probably take me a couple minutes, but see the improvement. Okay, another couple minutes of fussing with it, and and that's the original pad put back on there. You know, it took about two minutes, um, and that seems to help when you've got. I mean, that basically I think that illustrates two things. That's something you can do on new modern horns that come out of the factory with those particular type of leaks, 
And also if you've got like a horn that just got a PC or something, the pads are still good, but it's got that weird, like, I don't know, like dotted pattern of all around leakiness. Typically that means that there's just not enough adhesive um, behind the edges of the pad, between the pad and the key cup. All right, hopefully you found that helpful, useful, and informative. My name is Matt Storr. I repair saxophones for a living. Thanks for watching.